Hi, I'm Vince Weston. Now, this is uh, my planned next project, which is the uh, classic Lincoln Continental 124th scale uh, 1941 Lincoln uh, Continental Cabriolet uh, with a detailed engine, full interior, with dashboard, and simulated leather upholstery. Uh, this is a repop, actually, of an older kit. Uh, I believe the original kit was from 1967, to be honest. Uh, this repop was done in 1994. I don't know if they've done it since, but uh, this is one I picked up at a model show several years ago. I picked it up for a couple of bucks. Um, it's not a real complicated kit. Uh, it's um, you know kind of fits in with the uh, '60s type of kits that were being released by Monogram. Um, a little quick on the side uh, shot here. Hopefully, I can get it in in focus. Um, shows it with the top down. Strangely enough, that on this they show red interior, but uh, they don't seem to mention that too much in in the box or in the kit. Um, goes through a little detail. Side is just a picture with the top up. The other side shows the engine, and it's you know gives you the detail of of what's in the kit. And then again, the other side is just you know top up again picture. Um, give you a little view of the inside. I can put this back there and switch places. Oops. Not killing everybody here. Uh, the, 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 the instructions, excuse me, are pretty much uh, the original monogram style uh, for, and they still are copyrighted for 1967. Uh, they give a nice little history of, of uh, Lincoln and where they came from, you know, breaking away from, uh, I think it was Ford, General Motors, excuse me, from General Motors in the 20s, and then, the, you know, about the name and everything. It's kind of neat information. Um, the inside... Um, once again, old monogram style. Hopefully, this is showing up at all. Uh, providing a lot of wording. Um, not exploded diagrams. It shows basically the part, and this is goes where, and there's the numbers, uh, giving you a whole view. Uh, like I said, this is not a real complicated kit. The uh, chassis is all one piece pretty much and you basically put on the front end the rear end and a couple of details um, and there's the back on the bottom here they give you uh, painting your model instructions which uh, go by color so they'll list the color like tan and tell you which which pieces are supposed to be like be that color um, seem to be an old monogram way of doing things uh, the, the kit actually is molded in color as you can kind of see here I've, I've opened I've removed everything from their boxes or their plastic just so I could go through it a little easier um, the body it's pretty nice I no real you know issues with it except for slight uh, injection swirling which I'll show you the worst part of that um, was this hood which of course I left in a bag silly me um, if you look towards kind of the V in the back of the hood you can see it all swirled out and there's also some marks from the other side where, where you put the uh, uh, horns go in here 
and needs some injector pin cleanups and stuff on the inside of the hood, but nothing terribly bad. Like I said, it is it does come in color, so the interior tub is done in white. Uh, basically, there were th well, I guess technically four colors. Uh, there's the blue for the the body and some of the other parts, white for the interior and certain parts that are probably should be white and then the chassis here is in black um, it's kind of a bluish black but and as you can see you know the exhaust is, is attached in chassis onto the the uh, frame and uh, it's got a monogram on the inside uh, there monogram model, models information but that's uh, the third color and uh, a lot of these things have fallen off because of, I think the way that the guy ripped into them the only flash I found really is on the, the front end here which shouldn't be too bad to clean up uh, there's a little on the, the white walls um, most of it looks pretty clean. I was kind of impressed that it was uh, that clean. Um, the other sprue contains the engine parts and the rear end, steering wheel, and the horns. Uh, so there's those. There, once again, it's pretty clean molding. I just spotted a part. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Um, so, those aren't too bad. And, uh, like I said, some of the parts have fallen off. This is uh, the injector rose, I think. And there's some flash to that, but that's easy enough cleanup. Clear parts uh, are... Uh, headlights, the um, front windshield, the rear window, and the side vent windows. And that's all there is to those. And here's the front of the seat, of the front seat. And here's your fourth collar, which is the uh, chrome parts. R interestingly enough with this kit, I guess they figured uh, you should be able to put it together just straight out of the box. Uh, the chrome parts where anything would have been chrome on the car are supplied in chrome and they're really clean. I was really surprised and happy because the chrome parts having flash on them is the part that drives me the craziest. So, But they, they look really good so I, I have no problem with that. Um, the blue parts are mostly the uh, window or the windows, yeah, wheels, uh, the spare tire cover. Uh, some of the other wheels are loose in here. Um, they're in here. So everything's here. The dashboard, which actually is supposed to be uh, mahogany, and the um, steering column. Surprise, surprise. Uh, the radiator is white. <laughs> Strangely enough, I don't know why. But uh, that's one of those things. And the wheels are sort of vinylish. I mean, they're not hard plastic. And they're set so that the, uh, the white inserts would go right inside there to give you your white walls. I've always been under impressed with that. Uh, I built uh, a Rolls Royce years ago that was the same type of thing, and um, they tended to crack and fall apart. But anyway, the uh, reason I guess that uh, I'm figuring this is kind of my proposed project was that uh, I've been watching a lot of guys build figures, and and I I enjoy building figures. And I've got a lot of figure kits. And I keep thinking, you know, I should do a figure kit instead of another car. But, 
Um, you know, I kind of said this was going to be the next one. So, I guess I'm sort of stuck, but I might change my mind. <laughs> I guess it's my prerogative, right? Since it's uh, what I'm doing. So anyway, oh, the, the colors, by the way, uh, since I have to fix that swirl, I've got some, uh, these are both Midnight and Midnight Blue. One's Folk Art and the other one's um, Anita's. I'm not sure which one I'll use. They're both the same color. And I figured I'd do the white. Since they say to use tan for the interior, I thought I'd just do it in vanilla ice cream. And of course, I'll, you know, future the body to, to give it a nice shine and do some other nice stuff. I'm semi presuming to do this as an out of the box uh, build. Uh, I might wire the engine and I might get deeper into it than I'm saying now, but we'll see. Uh, once again, I'm not 100% sold on whether I'm doing this or not, but I think I will. Uh, I might do two projects at the same time. I'll do this and do a figure, and that way when one thing's drying, I can work on the other. I don't tend to do multiple projects, because I found out uh, for myself it doesn't usually work out. Um, I tend to concentrate on one and the other one languishes, and so it's almost, I might as well not even bother. Um, so, we'll, we'll see what I I, I come up with and what I decide to do. So that's uh, what I've got for now. We'll see you later. Have fun. Stay out of trouble.